Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host, and I'm pleased to be with you today to uh, start the second part of something we began last week, looking at the new version, SAP Business One 9.1. And over the next few weeks, we'll be looking at some of the new features. The first one that I'm very excited about is auto emailing capabilities and enhancements. And between last week and this week, I found out some new things and figured out how to make them work, and we'll share them with you today. Um, very exciting stuff, actually, and uh, I'll look forward to sharing that with you. Big announcement today is that SAP Business One version 9.1 is now in general release. Now, we advocate that you wait another 30 days or so to actually begin to uh, actually install this new version. We like to see a number of people become early adopters and sort of shake out any additional problems with it before we advocate it in general to our large customer base. But it is now in general release as far as SAP is concerned. That means that it is available to you if you should ever want the software to install on a test system, not on your live production system, but a test system. You can always ask Total Care for it, and we'll put it in a secure FTP folder and make it available to you. So here's our agenda for today, just so you'll have a little snapshot of this. Um, in your mind, we're going to take a look at the administrative settings that are uh, indicated for this new emailing function. And notice this line right here. This is really, whoop, I keep doing that. This is really important. You can now use Outlook. In order to send email out of SAP Business One in times past, you had to use something called the SBO, SAP Business One, SBO, mailer. It has always been kind of problematic. It's a service that runs in Windows. Sometimes in some systems, it would stop and it would start. It would create havoc. And it's a little tough to configure for those of us that use Exchange. Now, you don't have to start that service at all. You can simply flip a switch and say, use Outlook. So we'll be looking at where to do that. And so we'll also look at some things that about how you activate the service, that you must have a path set up properly for your attachments, uh, how you set on the print preferences and email settings,